Hi, my name is Cynthia Brianaba. I'm a final year psychology student at Dublin Business School, and I'm here today to present to you my final year research on children's perceptions of gender roles as portrayed in Disney films. So gender roles are a perceived set of behavioral norms set up um, that are attributed to males and females in a given social system. The aim of the study was to examine what both male and female children perceive as the appropriate gender roles and whether this is influenced by what they're exposed to in Disney films. Research suggests that the characters in Disney animated films have historically been portrayed as appearing and behaving in gender role stereotypical ways. So why Disney? Well, I love Disney. And <laughs> Word 2002 argued that Disney animated films are so powerful that it can shape the way children think about who they are and who they should be. And while studies have previously researched children's perceptions, they typically focused on children's perceptions of masculinity or femininity, and never both at the same time, which is what my research focuses on. So how is this done? Well, participants aged 9 to 11 years were sourced from primary schools. The schools were randomly allocated a group by picking your name out of a hat. A mixed school formed the experimental group, while a, an all-girls school formed the control group. The experimental group viewed 10-minute clips from Disney's Frozen, while the control group viewed 10-minute clips from Cinderella. And participants first viewed the clips, then they completed a short questionnaire called Children's Sexual Inventory. This questionnaire assesses the extent to which society's definitions of gender roles are, are reflected in children's self-description. So on completion of the questionnaires, participants took part in a free drawing session where they were asked to draw what they think the role of a man and a woman should be. And after all the data was collected, um, three psychology students blind to the aim of the study were asked to interpret the occupations each gender was drawn in and whether it was stereotypically male or female. So the results obtained. Um, the results obtained show the statistically significant difference between the groups in relation to the children's sexual inventory scores, with the control group being more androgynous, meaning that the control group perceived themselves to have both male and female characteristics in their personality. There was also a significant difference between children's perceptions of feminine and neutral roles, but not masculine, masculine roles. Results from the drawings showed a varying degree of information, with the younger participants drawing less stereotypical gender roles um, in than the older participants. Some examples of the roles drawn are modeled as both male and female roles, sales assistant, a male and female priest, some policemen, a president, athletes, a jockey, a queen, and even Olaf, the snowman. <laughs> so these graphs depict some of the results. The pie chart shows the amount of male and females in the study. There was 71% more females than males, which could have affected the results obtained in the study. The mean scores, the mean um, children's sexual inventory scores are shown in the second graph. And it shows that the high scores were in the feminine items, which also could have been as a result of there being more females in the study, and also that the films chosen are typically feminine-based. The present study found a significant difference in children's ages and their perceptions of gender roles from the drawings in the third graph, with the younger participants, again, just drawing more um, fictional characters than real gender roles. So just to sum up from the findings, um, the difference between the groups who viewed Cinderella versus Frozen displayed evidence of the perversiveness of Disney films and its potential for negative and positive outcomes of gender role perceptions. From the gender role drawings, it can be formulated that Disney films are not only, not only influence on children's perceptions of gender roles, but that their family and their environment also has an effect. As children are exposed to this, um, gender stereotype on a daily basis, it's more important to understand the type of media they're being exposed to. While the findings of this study show evidence of change in gender role perceptions in children since the earliest research in this area was carried out, future research should continue to assess how gender role um, advancements in Disney films and the society can influence the development of children's gender role perception. So that was just a brief summary of my research. If you want more information, you could come to me after. 
And I'd be happy to give you some. Thanks.